Tiny Tidy Tuesday. Say that 10 times fast. I make that hard on myself with the alliteration, don't I? We've had some ladies say some funny things trying to say Tiny Tidy Tuesday. We've also had some ladies call me Summer a time or two. It's okay. I answer to Summer or Sunny or Sunday or Sunday Dawn. I've been called Susan a couple times. I don't know what that's about. Not that I'm an expert, but I am an obsessed bird. You're obsessed with something? Are you an obsessed bird? <laughs>
So again, these just need to go in the correct album. This is memorabilia from her wedding, memorabilia from Madeline's wedding. These are gonna go, oh no, this is my set. This is actually a picture of her and her husband when they were teenagers. They were both just in high school there. Oh my word, how time flies. Now they've been married five years. Five years? 2017, to almost six years. Oh my word, look, they're just babies. This is, it feels like yesterday and it was so long ago. And I did their engagement shoot as well. So this is my pick for going in my album for that year. And then this is a pile of what I left them. This is photos for Claire and Madeline of grad shoots and wedding, grad shoots, wedding, grad shoot, Madeline. And then this is a huge stack. When your daughter gets married, don't print every photo that every photographer takes at the wedding. That's what you get, a brick. And you don't need all those photos. I have them all on discs and now backed up digitally. So I'm not keeping those. I'm not gonna toss them because they're not my wedding. But I'm handing those off to Madeline and that is up to her. Oh, this is me. These are gonna go in the album for that year. And in fact, I'm trying to decide, but I think I'm gonna slide this actual, this is, okay, there's proof. When I said she had brown hair people, that's when she was young. She has silver hair and it's much more silver now. But I grew out my natural gray right before Madeline's wedding, which I don't hate. I don't hate that I have some evidence of my shining silver hair. I'm gonna do it again someday. But for now, we're going with Midlife Crisis Blonde. And these are memorabilia from my daughter's weddings, actually from their showers, that I am going to tuck into, let's see if I can close this drawer. I'm gonna tuck into this drawer, which is, actually I just did this. I just barely did this, and I will probably add that footage here too, because this is sort of ephemera. I think that's actually the word for it, ephemera. Love that word. For, I don't scrapbook. My project life is technically called a hybrid scrapbook, but it's just photos and photo journaling cards. I do like to journal about the year, but I don't cut up and pasty and do all that kind of stuff. However, I do art journal. So these are things I use, my oldest and I art journal. And these, this is my art journal drawer. Would you like a peek? Am I gonna be vulnerable and show you? So this is, I kept a piece of each of these things to save in that yearly album. And then the other pieces I decided to keep for my art journal. So, we bought journals together. I'm gonna flip through quickly because it is kind of personal, but um, I've never been a written journaler, like journaling my feelings. In fact, actually I just started trying and um, I found out that the only way that I like to uh, journal my feelings in written word on paper is I've been throwing them away every day. I haven't done it every day, but the days I've done it, I've thrown it away. But I find this a much more emotional outlet for me that works better for me um, to get to paint and draw and add my own. Okay, so here's an example of some paintings I did, but I haven't yet added in any ephemera. So that's where these are going to live. Can't believe I showed this. That's personal, people. That's my journal my version of a journal anyway. And then Madeline and I send each other pictures of what we journaled. It's cathartic. Journal with your children, you'll learn so much. Actually, I decided that this is the route I'm going to take. I'm going to, oh my word, it's really loud. Claire Bear is in my kitchen and the washer is going. I'm going to pop these right beside my, Kiki, I'm filming. Just so you know, I'm filming. No big deal. Um, I'm gonna pop these right here because, let's see, these are 2016 and 2017. And that way, to finish off my photo club Friday, I can flip through those this evening while hubby and I watch our show. Yeah, let's just go old school vlog style. And these 
And these, oh no, this goes in Claire's pile. Am I making you dizzy yet? These need to go into my memory trunk. Yeah, this is how we're rolling, people. I'm gonna toss these in a trash bag. These, and these, let's put them with the correct. Okay, Claire Bear would be 2017. Madeline would be 2016. And these would be, I'm gonna leave those with her engagement shoot because I used them for her bridal shower. And I think that will make sense. And her engagement shoot would be 2017. So these are gonna go out right now and we're gonna pop them into those albums. You can look at my lovely Madeline. These, we're gonna pop right into these albums. These are all the photos that go home with my daughters. So I have Claire's stack on top, Madeline's stack on bottom, and I just placed them by my entry where I place all the things that need to leave my home. So these will for sure go home with them this week. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna give a shot at sliding this album that Madeline made me that's gorgeous and I love it into the 2016 album. This is actually my wedding and I'm not ready to deal with this yet. I, well, believe it or not, I can show you that now too. I have started an album. You wanna see grad picks? You saw my girl's grad pick. Here's this girl's grad pick. Look, I was cute once upon a time. It's so funny. My word, look how tiny I was. Yeah, this is my memorabilia from my graduation, as well as my wedding photos and like that kind of stuff. Bridal shower flyer, so cute. So I have started this album, but it's one of those albums that we're going to finish on Photo Club Friday. And so that's a decision I need to make right now is do I want to put it back in here, which is currently empty. The goal was to empty this and boy, we made a lot of headway, but I think, I think for now, since this is a whole project, this may be the only thing going back in here because that album I'm not ready to tackle. This was full people. This was full of all of this stuff and all the stuff you just saw me remove. But I am gonna leave that in there and be comfortable with the fact that I removed, I don't even know how many projects and albums and man, I should count, I should count all of the stuff that came out of there. It was quite a satisfying purge session. But I am gonna leave that in there because that album still needs to be done. That is a different episode of Photo Club Friday. That will not be this weekend. And so all that is left is to toss that in the trash. Oh, these I'm gonna put on my piano because I want to frame them and place them on my piano. Let's do that while we're doing it. Let's do it. to say I think this is going to be the most satisfying part of this whole process I saved I wonder if that will show there I saved like I printed every photo from the shoot and then I saved them all and you'd be like those are cute pictures no there was better pictures and these pictures are all digitally saved somewhere I don't need to print them all don't print all the photos, people. Don't make my mistake. Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh, oh this is so good.
Yeah, so good. I found something in the file that I'm tempted to keep, but I'm going to use my own advice because it says engagement B and C, which means question mark. Is this Brad and Claire's engagement shoot? And the truth is Brad and Claire's engagement shoot is both on my computer, also stored at Walgreens. I, I don't think I need this, even if it is. That's been on my list to check for far too long. Done. No photo guilt. Let's put that back the right direction please let's put that back and then these I'm gonna safely stow here and I'll actually probably pop this footage in because I did film this I just organized this and now I'm gonna find a way to make that fit here and then I'll show you okay the Alice in Wonderland pages which we used for decor Madeline had a mad tea party bridal shower. Christine, my Disney queen, you would have loved that. Christine is one of my amazing OG subscribers that's been here forever. In fact, she sent me the loveliest Alice in Wonderland mug that I used this morning for my tea. And then these, Claire had a botanical. We did a really lovely botanical. We had crushed green velvet drapes and we had all kinds of agates and botanical florals and she had a, she, this was so her and this was so Maddie. Um, these were from Maddie's shower, and in fact, I partially saved them because I was going to have an Alice in Wonderland office once upon a time, and instead it just didn't go that way. I'm not in the room that I thought I was going to be in for my office slash studio. I am in the other room, and this room already had a very vintage -y. it was a Harry Potter Hogwarts room and I just wanted to keep so much of that memorabilia that I went a different route that's also still very me sort of library-esque and I was able to put up and enjoy some of our family memorabilia so I went a different route but I'm kind of tempted to pop these up just even back on my photo wall just to have like a taste of the Alice in Wonderland office I was going to do I think I'm gonna do that I think I'm going to pop those on my pin board and put my um, postcards. I, I have a little stack of postcards and I bring them out sometimes and use them to decorate. Or I use them in my art journaling or in my Project Life albums. So that means we are all cleaned up. Pop this box back where it goes up there. And all that's in it is my wedding, which is still to be done. That box... I don't even remember. I don't even remember, but I know it's full of mayhem. So we will tackle that on a different Photo Club Friday. Join me Photo Club Friday to kind of see more of the process of this and join us on our other Photo Club Fridays to uh, get a little motivation, have a little accountability. Some of you have been DMing me about your photo process with questions. Not that I'm an expert, but I am an obsessed Is that a thing? If you're obsessed with something, are you an obsessed bird? <laughs> I'm making it a thing. And take that to the trash. And those just need put away. These are my, um, in fact, I'll take a couple of these out now. I think I'll take four and I'll pop until I can get a photo pocket page, a nicer one. This is full of another photo project because um, always in the process. As soon as you wish to be done with your photos, you're just going to be never endingly discontent because you'll always feel behind. Just know you'll always be in the process. I have an annual family album for every year since we were married, labeled, completed, completed to someone else's eye. They would be completed, but they're always in the process. And even though I have all my albums up to date, it doesn't mean I don't still have photo projects. So this is memorabilia I'm collecting to put in some albums and until I get a nicer melanine batch of these, which I should order today, I use these in the meantime to get the correct photos and memorabilia into the correct album. So that part of the chore is done. The hard part is done. You're just swapping it out when you get your nicer memory keeping photo pocket pages. Let's throw this away together. It's so exciting.
okay, there was your behind the scenes of Photo Club Friday on Tiny Tidy Tuesday. Say that 10 times fast. If you want to see how I got through that organization process, that will be on this week's Photo Club Friday video. Boy, I make that hard on myself with the alliteration, don't I? And now we have Thoughtful Thursdays once a month with joy. Tiny Tidy Tuesday is the worst. We've had some ladies say some funny things trying to say Tiny Tidy Tuesday. We've also had some ladies call me Summer a time or two. It's okay. I answer to Summer or Sunny or Sunday or Sunday Dawn. Susan, occasionally I've been called Susan a couple times. I don't know what that's about. Anywho, thanks for being here on another Tiny Tidy Tuesday. Please follow the link in the description box below to watch all the other ladies with their wonderful, motivating, inspiring Tiny Tidy Tuesday content. And let us know in the comments what we inspired you to Tiny Tidy today.